So this is really why we've been brought here. Where I'm standing is on top of what used to be reactor building number four. The whole of this building was blown apart by a huge explosion after the tsunami disaster. But down inside this pool behind me here is still a vast amount of nuclear fuel. You can see it down there beneath the water. More than 1,300 fuel rods. Those have got to come out. They're currently 30 meters above ground level. This whole building is still not entirely stable, so they've got to get those out into safe storage. So the machine they're going to use to lift those fuel assemblies out of the cooling pool is currently being built over behind this white tank here. It's a very complicated piece of machinery which has to do a very, very delicate task to draw these fuel rods out of the fuel pool. They're going to be lifted on this huge crane that has been built over the top of reactor building four. Remember, this whole building was destroyed by a huge explosion. All of this around me here has been built in the last six to nine months. And the reason why they can do this job here in reactor building four is because the radiation levels in this building are relatively low. They are essentially doing the job that they can do to decommission this reactor but the other three reactors one two and three the radiation levels are still far too high for people even to go in there they still don't know how they're going to decommission those three reactors so when we were back inside reactor building number four my radiation monitor was reading about 200 250 counts per second but this behind me here is reactor three, and as our bus drove past it, the radiation reading shot up to more than two and a half thousand counts per second. And that's the problem. That building and the other two reactors as well are still too radioactive for anybody to go inside and start decommissioning.